Okay, Matiza, it's the first day of orgo class. You got this. Positive mindset. I remember seeing that in Gen Chem. Oh, yeah. Thank you, Gen Chem. <laughs> Hold up. What is that? I know. I've never seen that before. What is that? Wait, did I miss that in Gen Chem? What are those skeletal structures? Oh, my God. What am I writing? I do not know what I'm writing. Okay, my GPA. There goes my GPA. Okay. Keep running. Keep running. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. I can't. I can't. Oh, my God. Ah! Hola gente querida, tudo bem? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Matiza and today's video, I'm going to be telling you guys how to get an A in organic chemistry. It's literally impossible, they say. If it was impossible, I wouldn't be here proclaiming otherwise. Now, this past sophomore year, I did take organic chemistry. And honey, it was my favorite course I've ever taken at university. Well, besides general chem, I love general chem as well. As expected, I had to tell you guys how credible I am to make this video. Fall semester, I took organic chemistry one and I got an A minus in it. Second semester, I took organic chemistry two and I got an A in it. It is possible that you can do the same, even better than I did, and I'll be sharing with you guys my four top tips that helped me to succeed in organic chemistry. So the first tip I have for you guys is to prime before class. What I did is I looked on my syllabus that my professor provided all of us the first day of class. Whatever topic that was to be discussed in the upcoming lecture, two days or a day before, I would go on YouTube, for example, enantiomers will be the topic, and type in enantiomers and click the video that will be discussing that topic, and I would just watch. Okay, I would just watch, probably wouldn't even understand, but it was a really, really good way of me knowing key words, what the material looks like. And then when I reached into class, I didn't really understand still, but I wasn't lost. And that really helped me to take my notes wise. So make sure that you prime before class. My second tip that I have for you is to use lecture time wisely. What I mean by that is to take notes effectively. People say, oh, make sure you take good notes. But what does that really mean? It means that whatever the professor is saying, make sure that you are not just writing them down, but you're understanding or you have a, a big idea of what those notes mean. It doesn't really do you good to just be daydreaming about something and just taking the notes and then saying to yourself, okay, I'll look back at it later. Mm, no, organic chemistry, you really, really have to not miss a single detail and being attentive and active while taking those notes later on when you still have to connect some dots. Connecting those dots will not be a problem. Using your lecture time wisely also means asking questions. Now, I know organic chemistry can be intimidating. Do not be afraid to ask questions in lectures because you will appear that, oh, I don't want to sound dumb. I don't want to ask a dumb question. Listen, in organic chemistry, there is no dumb questions. And if you are afraid of that, just remember that it is your grade on the line. And let alone if the professor is intimidating and you're not really comfortable with asking the questions in lecture, write them down, ask the professor after class or during office hours. In organic chemistry, you really want to make sure that you are on track with your work with every material, know what's going on, and leading up to exam, you really don't have much to study, and all you have to do is just practice instead of understanding the concepts. My third tip is to advocate for yourself. Speak up and utilize your resources to the utmost of your ability. Some of the resources that I had this past sophomore year were peer tutoring, which was free, at your university. Check out, see if there are any free tutoring services, recitation session. If you guys don't know what recitation session means, it's a session where you have to work on problem sets with your entire class and you have a team there who knows and who has been through the organic chemistry that can answer your questions office hours I went to office hours consistently non-stop like yeah and if I would be able to make office hours I would email my professors yeah I basically crashed their email software and don't be afraid oh my god I don't want to bother them look it's their job and it's your job as a student to advocate for yourself and learn the material so don't bother feeling like you're being annoying the most annoying students especially in organic chemistry succeed okay study groups you know establish a one or two three good study buddies sometimes how you indulge the information was different of how the other person digested the information and they can explain to you in a different way that you would have never thought of that's how you win. The internet, YouTube, organic chemistry YouTube channels on topics that even after utilizing all my resources I was still confused on. I relied on YouTube to help me and it did. It pulled through. And I will put on the screen some of my favorite YouTube channels that really helped me in organic chemistry. When I was asking for help, I would write down my questions beforehand. I will go through my notes, see what I don't understand, write a question about that, write it down on my sticky note, and then when I'm going to my tutor or my professor or my colleague, I know what to ask. It's really important that you do that as well just because if you just ask a question off of your head or a question that you didn't really spend time reflecting on, there will be some other sub questions that you have later on that that opportunity and that 
resources is not available. Oh wait, I forgot to ask this one. So just make sure that you have a plan of questions to ask your resources and go from there. My last and fourth tip, practice. Continuous and annoying and consistent practice. I'm gonna tell you what practice gives in organic chemistry. Practice gave me comfort. And when I was comfortable with the material, I was unstoppable. You have to utilize what you learn and apply it. It's gonna be rough, I'm not gonna lie, but the more you practice, the more comfortable you get, the more you begin to understand it, and the better that you will perform on your exam. If you are at the lunch table waiting for your friend and it's taking too long, pull out a piece of paper, look at a problem that was presented in the class and just try to see if, if you can handle that problem. It doesn't even have to be like five hours non-stop. Just do little by little, 30 minutes to an hour every day. And leading up to the exam, you'll feel so comfortable. You can practice with your homeworks, you can practice with your problem sets, you can practice with old exams if your professor provides that to you. Be at that extent that someone can wake you up and provide you a different problem that you've never seen before but because you practice, you already know how to handle that problem and be able to excel in it. Be at that extent and once you're at that extent, you are unstoppable. Ooh, I matched the wall. I like that. This is just general advice. You can do it. Oh my god, it's so hard. Blah, blah, blah. Look, a lot of people said that to me. Do not let what others said about how their experience was and how tragic their experience was interfere how you feel about the course, okay? My experience was not all, ooh, whoopsie daisy, okay? No, <laughs> I struggled. My exams were mm, okay. At the end, it was the finals that really, really pushed me up and got to my A. And it's just a matter of process. Don't expect to go in and understand it immediately. No, it, 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 it takes time. Day by day, you'll get more comfortable, you'll learn, and you'll excel. All you have to do is to really be motivated. Again, follow the four tips that I gave to you guys. Persevere and believe in yourself. You got this. Whew. That is it for this video, you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe down below for more videos. Join the Matisse fam. We have so much fun around here. God bless you. Stay fabulous. Stay fierce. Mwah. Ciao, queridas.